Welcome back. We're going to continue on discussing feeding the overweight horse and feeding the horse for weight loss. Now, we talked about things we could change. We could alter their living situation and also look at reducing energy in sweet feeds, uh, other types of feeds, treats that are high in energy. The next aspect of this is looking at our forage because, again, that's the cornerstone of the horse's diet. That is the base of their diet. They're getting a lot of energy there. So in this example, let's say you, you are feeding a horse the alfalfa grass blend. That is a nutrient-dense hay. You can see 2.3 megacalories per kilogram. That's providing this horse, which again is that 500 kilogram, 1100 pound horse at maintenance, 135% of its caloric uh, requirements. Now, if we just did a low mature grass hay, you can see we drop a little bit of the calories, but it's still 120% of their calorie requirement at maintenance. So if we can slowly, again, over two to three weeks, transition them to a mature hay that has less energy at 1.85 megacalories per kilogram, we can see we're about 111% of caloric requirements at maintenance. So there's other things we can do, but that is at least a start. Now, another thing you can do to reduce the calories or energy in their hay or forage is you could introduce straw. 15 to 20% of their daily forage could be replaced with chopped straw. Now, you wanna make sure this straw is good quality. It's free of seed heads because those have energy in them free of mold. You want to make sure this horse has complete access to water, you know, clean, uh, fresh water all the time, because that's going to cause them to drink more, but you add some salt to encourage that. And if you do that, you can reduce the calories in the horse's diet. Now, some people also could rec be recommended restricting hay or restricting forage. Now, here you can pay attention. You want to reduce the forage to 1.5% of their current weight or 2% of their ideal body weight, whichever is larger. Okay, so I have an example of that. So remember, whichever is larger, that's the amount you want to feed. Okay, we don't want to restrict too much. So let's say we have a horse that's current weight is 600 kilograms and we want to get them down to 500 kilograms. So if we multiply that by 1.5%, 600 kilograms, we get nine kilograms of hay as dry matter. Explain that in a second. The ideal weight, 500 kilograms times 2% or 0 0.02 equals 10 kilograms of hay fed as dry matter. So in this situation, what's larger is the 10 kilograms. So that is our target. That is what we want to feed this horse. Now, hays have moisture in them. So again, this is based on NRC, National Research Council uh, suggestions. So when you look about 90% dry matter in a grass hay like Timothy hay, 10 kilograms divided by that 90% gives you 11 kilograms. So that's about how much hay you want to feed this horse per day. It's about eight flakes per day. And that's assuming a flake weighs about three pounds. Okay. So that is your ideal target on when you reduce feed intake or hay. The other thing you can do is we want to ensure that even though we're reducing the amount of forage they get, we want to extend that, that feeding time. Again, we with meal feeding, you know, really for the horse's digestive health, we want to have them forage as much as possible. Remember, going back to the very beginning of this course, talking about what the wild horses teach us is that horses like to forage all day. So things we want to do is use slow feeders or small hole hay nets, which will help extend foraging time, even though we're reducing the overall amount of hay they're getting every day. Another strategy is you could soak your hay and that will reduce sugar content, which is reducing energy. So 
you can do this, uh, especially if your horse you know has any metabolic conditions. But again, you want to be working with an equine nutritionist and veterinarian for those special cases. Typically, we'd want you to. The recommendation is to soak for 30 minutes in warm water, 60 minutes in cold water, and then feed it right away. Don't let it sit because then you get mold and everything else growing on it. And we want to still make sure that the horse is getting his vitamins and mineral needs met. Uh, and I'm going to show you a strategy on how to do that. So those are some strategies looking at hay. And to give you example diets for a, the 600 kilogram horse, remember we want to get him down to 500 kilograms. Let's look at what we're feeding and then let's look at some changes we can make. So here's a couple options. If we just took a typical diet, they're getting as much hay as they want per day. They're getting a complete feed, about four pounds per day. They're getting their vitamin mineral mix and they're getting some salt and that's providing 26 megacalories per day. Now we want to reduce that the best we can. Now, if we can change the amount of hay or the type of hay they're getting, we can look at option one and we can alter to a mature hay. And we can add beet pulp, which isn't adding a lot of energy, but it's adding that really fermentable fiber, right? That's really good for the hind gut. Then we have the vitamin mineral mix, add that salt, and we're down to 22.3 megacalories per day. Now, let's say you can't change your hay. You're, you're at a barn. You don't have choice of you know changing the type of hay. Well, you can reduce the amount of hay you're given each day. But you also can feed that beet pulp, which again is helping those hindgut microbes, supporting that horse. Then you have the vitamin mineral mix and your salt, and you're down at 21.2 megacalories per day. So now if we do that, we've decreased the energy in the diet, and just at maintenance with their resting metabolism, some voluntary exercise, they're out, turned out in a dry lot, we can see we've started that horse on their weight loss journey. There's other things you can do to help increase caloric output exercise level obviously it's this is a horse just at maintenance previously with those uh, diet suggestions but now let's look at how can we help them lose weight and support them we can start increasing the amount of exercise again do this gradually horses don't like rapid changes it's not good for them you always want to make sure you have a good warm up you uh, can change the blankets, use thinner blankets, or don't use blankets, and that makes them burn energy to thermoregulate. Again, depends on where you live. And then you can also do things like, it's not like going to the gym for horses, but hill training, other things to increase muscle mass, because that's going to burn calories just as fast too. So there's different things you can look at this, this slide and look at, and then when we look at the studies, you know, comparing diet and exercise or just diet, uh, this was one study looking at just restricting the amount of forage or restricting the amount of forage plus exercise five days a week. And they found, you know, diet alone was almost as good as diet plus exercise, but exercise had additional health benefits, which we know, we know that, we know that as humans. We know exercise is good for us. So it is good for your horses too. So that gives you an idea, you know, just you have to know if your horse is overweight and then find ways looking at the diet, looking at their living conditions, looking at introducing exercise that will help them again, that caloric balance in their lives. It's really important to them. It's important to their overall health and their lifelong, you know, health, welfare and happiness. So stay tuned. We got more video lessons coming your way and we're going to switch gears and start talking about other types of horses and how we feed them. So look for those.